Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, so in today's video, I am going to be talking about Wax Melting 101 and how to do it and how to clean out your warmers. I'm going to show you different types of wax melts and warmers. So before we begin, uh, make sure to click the subscribe button in the down bar and comment down below what your favorite uh, scent from either Better Homes and Gardens or Sensationals is and without further ado let's begin. So in order for you to start wax melting you need a warmer. Now there's a lot of different types of warmers. Uh, there's uh, two-in-one warmers, there's light bulb warmers that heat the wax with a light bulb. Um, I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, and there's, uh, wall plug-in warmers that you plug into, like, your bathroom outlet if you have one. Uh, so there's a lot of different, uh, varieties of wax warmers. And so, sorry, notification. <laughs> so basically, if you are new to the wax melting world, um, you can... Uh, begin with a warmer and some wax. So I suggest uh, a wax warmer like this one. Uh, this is a Huntington Home wax warmer. You can buy these at Aldi um, and you can buy their wax tarts at Aldi as well. Um, I have never tried a Huntington wax warmer before. Uh, now this one comes with a light bulb on the inside, as you guys can see right there. And this is where you heat up your wax. And that's how the wax gets heated, from the light bulb. The light bulb's basically the heating element. Uh, I need to clean out my dish. But that's a pretty good, decent-sized dish. I could probably fit a whole four cubes of wax in here, but... I don't want to waste my wax, um, but there are, let me show you the Huntington Home Wax Melts. I have them up here. So these are the Huntington Home Wax Melts, and they come in clamshells. Now, if you guys don't know what a clamshell is, it's basically this top part that comes off so that's the clam basically you get it clam um and there's different wax like um like different blends of wax uh there's a soy blend there's a paraffin uh vegetable blend um this one um it should say what kind yeah so this is a hold on um oh no it doesn't huh all right i thought it said what kind of uh wax like if it was a paraffin wax or a soy blend I'm not sure what blend of wax Huntington Home uses, but as you can see, the size difference, I'm going to compare it to a Better Homes and Gardens. So as you can tell, the Better Homes and Gardens has uh, 2.5 ounces and the Huntington Home has... Um, 2.5 I think but their clamshells are a little like they're smaller so if you don't mind having smaller wax cubes then that's okay so those are Huntington home wax cubes here's our here's a full clam of it mm, this one smells really good so that's what they look like it's just one solid piece, and then you just break it 
into the six cubes. So though that's Huntington Home. Now, if you go to Walmart, Walmart sells Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals and Mainstays. I prefer Sensationals. Um, this is Pacific Coast Highway. Um, I just find that their that Walmart wax is a lot more stronger than uh, other companies. So that's Better Homes and Gardens. Um, you get the same amount. Yeah, you get the same amount in both um, containers. So that's something to look into. And then another company is Candle Warmers. This is what I'm melting right now. It's fresh linen. And this is like a perfect laundry scent for if you're not into like the chlorine uh, scents. Um, I would start off with like a delicate scent if you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to show you my other warmer that's from... Uh, candle warmers and I was sent this to review on my channel so let me see oh okay nice and easy um so this is the warmer I have it currently plugged in but uh this is from candle warmers and basically you just put the wax in there. I'm not going to like dump it out right now. But that's basically what you put your wax in. If you don't like having um if you don't like having a light in your room like I do, I prefer the 2-in-1 wax warmers because one, you don't have the light except for the identification light that turns on to let you know that the warmer is on um the only time i will use a light bulb warmer is during the daytime and i will usually keep that on 24 7 i keep all my wax warmers on 24 7 because i like to if i'm going somewhere and i come back into my bedroom i like to have that scent lingering throughout my bedroom and I also have a warmer in my bathroom, um, in my house, uh, and that's just a light bulb warmer too. So let's talk about, um, how to clean out your wax warmers. So basically how you can clean out your wax dishes is, uh, you put it in the freezer for about five, 10 minutes and wax constricts so it gets smaller so it will come off of the side of the dish and it will be a lot easier to pop out um i really i really like that method because it's easier and there's no mess involved um another way of cleaning out your wax dishes is the cotton ball method so I have some cotton balls. These are just from Target and they're the jumbo size. Um, you can do it that way. You just put in like three uh, cotton balls and the cotton balls will soak up all that wax and you just put in a fresh wax cube. Um, another method is to just use like a butter knife and pop out the wax that way when it hardens. Um, the reason why I don't do that often is because I don't like to scratch my wax dishes. Um, I don't like to like ruin the finish on the bottom. So I don't use that method. Um, and then another method is to put turn on your wax warmer and just turn it on for like five minutes and then turn it off. And you should be able to push the wax from the edges and it should be a little gummy so um you could use that method which is really easy um so what else uh i 
had some notes. Let me see. What were my notes? Um, okay, never mind. So, there's a lot of different types of wattages that you can buy for your wax warmer. I know I use the... I never use below 20 watts because I feel like an 8 watt or a 12 watt warmer just doesn't suffice in my opinion. It doesn't have a, it doesn't throw the wax as well as like a 20 watt warmer or a 25 watt warmer. Um, my Sensationals uh, warmer is a 40 watt and I love that thing so much. Um, 40 watt warmers are really nice because they heat up the wax pretty hot and the scent throw, you get a really good scent throw. Um, but the scent doesn't last as long because of how hot the light bulb gets. I know it's an Edison light bulb, so that's probably why. I know the Mainstays has a element warmer that's like 25 watt. And I also know candle warmer sells a lot of um, 25 watt warmers as well. So if you are into, into home fragrance like I am, um, I would start off with like a 20 watt warmer and see how you like the scent throw. Um, if you don't like the 20 watt, go up to a 25 watt and so on and so forth. Um, I've been melting wax for a couple years now and I am very happy with the wax that I have currently um, and I can't wait to use up my wax. So the days that I change out my wax I usually like to change them out whenever I can't smell the the scent anymore. That's how I know to change out the wax. Um, I changed out the wax today in my uh, two-in-one wax warmer. And if you guys want a wax warmer collection, uh, let me know in the description box below and I'll definitely do that for you guys. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments and I will definitely answer those for you guys. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, I know Walmart is a very good place to start with wax because their wax is like $2 for a clamshell, for one of these clamshells, and you get a lot for $2. So they don't chintz out on their wax tarts whatsoever. Um, neither does candle warmers. I think they're basically the same uh, size. Yeah, they're kind of the same size. Um, yeah, 2.5 ounces. So they're basically the same amount of wax. So yeah, I would definitely recommend going to Walmart and picking up a warmer and some wax. Um, that's a great way to start if you're into if you're just getting into home fragrance so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and please like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye